Let's make some cookies today. Very easy shortbread cookies, but with a little twist. We're going to make orange zest flavored shortbread cookies with edible flowers on them from the garden. Let's get started. And the first thing you want to do is to make orange flavored sugar. So you need a zester and one orange and half a cup of sugar. I like to mix my orange zest with sugar and let it sit uh, while my butter is uh, softening. So you need two sticks of butter or 227 grams and let it become room temperature. Then you add uh, your orange zest sugar and mix it together. To get butter softened up, you take it out from the fridge at least an hour or better even two before you're trying to make your cookies. And when the butter is whipped, add a one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm using my homemade. After a couple of minutes of whipping up the butter with sugar, bring the speed down and slowly add two and a half cups of regular all-purpose flour. I like to use a tablespoon and just one at a time keep adding until all of the flour is incorporated and the dough should look kind of like this. You can of course do this whole process by your hands. In the end, the dough is supposed to be soft and pliable. You can squeeze it in between your fingers and it's supposed to hold its shape just like this. Wrap your dough in plastic and chill in the fridge for at least half an hour. If you try to roll out your dough now, it will be too soft to work with. You can see it's very soft, so you need to chill it in the fridge. After half an hour, sprinkle the surface with some flour and the dough too and roll it out to be like a third of an inch thick or a quarter of an inch, depending how thick you like your cookies. And now let your creativity shine. Pick whatever cookie cutters you have at home. I have these garden related butterfly, watering can, flour. They are so cool and my kids love them too. Make sure to line up your baking sheets with some parchment paper so the cookies don't stick. And after you put all of your cookies on the trays, you have to chill them in the fridge again for 10-15 minutes. Because while you were working with the dough, rolling it out, it was thawing out the butter started to melt and we don't want to put these cookies in the oven and them to lose their shape around the same time you put your cookies in the fridge turn on your oven for 325 degrees and then bake the cookies for about 15 minutes but every oven is different so make sure you keep an eye on them and here you have it, delicious cookies straight from the oven. You can enjoy them uh, hot with uh, a cup of cold milk or you can let them cool, decorate them and have them with some great cup of tea or coffee. And to decorate them, you can use anything you would like, but edible flowers from the garden work great. It brings the mood up and I'm sure you have some flowers in the garden because now is the spring and a lot of flowers are edible. So here we've used some bluebells, pansies, uh, dandelions and primroses and we pressed them between the pages of a book for one day and then I just glued them to the cookies using melted butter and they turned out great kids love them I love them they are good with coffee and tea and they are so buttery and flaky 
I will definitely make them again. I also want to try making some shortbread cookies with herbs, like savory style, not sweet. So here you have it, um, very easy recipe, two sticks of butter and uh, two and a half cups of flour and half a cup of sugar. I'll write these ingredients in the description box below. And let me know in the comments if you ever made shortbread cookies and if you like them or not.